I feel like a lot of people watching can benefit from my story because I successfully kicked the alcohol habit. I no longer drink. I mean, I still enjoy a drink here or there. I'll have a couple drinks max, but I no longer enjoy getting drunk to the point of being incoherent. I no longer enjoy getting shit-faced, as they call it. And I went from a person who couldn't live, well, who thought they couldn't live without alcohol to someone who well, if you know me, you probably believe that I despise it, which isn't the truth. I simply despise the fact that our society glorifies it and they demonize other drugs when alcohol is a drug. I would say that being addicted to alcohol really played a huge role in how destructive uh, part of my teenage years were. I remember going to what they called bush parties with friends where I would just get completely plastered and stumble home. And to me, that was normal. I thought it was acceptable. This is part of the big problem with alcohol addiction, is I didn't see it as a problem. Because society glamorizes alcohol, it's everywhere, everyone does it. You know, you have it with a meal, you go to an expensive restaurant, you have a glass of wine. Alcohol is seen as a normal thing to do. But a lot of people, simply put, are not aware of how dangerous alcohol actually is. Now this video isn't going to be a rant about me explaining the dangers of alcohol, how it harms body and society. That's another video. What I really wanna get at here is just how this addiction just crept up on me out of nowhere and how it really consumed my life. And not only that, but how this addiction destroyed a lot of relationships. And that's not a joke. I lost uh, my best friend because I got too drunk, I became verbally abusive. I was the kind of person who would drink and get mean. I was fun at the tipsy stage, but it was very easy. It was just a very thin line, and I never knew when I was crossing it until it was too late between being a fun tipsy drunk to being a belligerent uh, evil asshole. And I definitely spent far too long in the evil asshole boat. Not not just friendships, also relationships. Uh, relationships with women. Sometimes I will actually just sit down and contemplate how many awesome girls uh, were willing to give me a chance. I had no confidence, okay? I don't think like this now, but at the time I was like, all oh, these people were, they, they liked me, they, some, they saw something in me attractive. Um, they wanted to be with me and I got drunk and fucked it up. I can count more times that, that I ruined a relationship with a female than fingers I have on both hands. It was normal for me to fuck up a relationship by being drunk. And I would never have admitted this, ever. I would have always put the blame on them. I would say that things ended because it was their fault. They weren't attractive enough. I'd even say that, I'd say, I think I want uh, someone who's prettier. My fucking idea of what beauty was back then was so upside down. Don't know who that guy was, but he wasn't me. People often argue that when you drink alcohol, your true self comes out. Maybe it's just your insecurities that really shine. Certain drugs kind of elicit different types of, well, emotional and chemical responses in the brain, and different chemicals are going to attribute to different types of experiences or effects, responses. I mean, obviously. And what alcohol would do to me is make me overcompensate for everything that I felt insecure about. I used to drink for various of reasons. One of the biggest ones was, I've talked about this too, I had a lot of social anxiety. And drinking, I mean, a lot of people drink in social settings because they feel more open. Just some of us who have had problems with alcohol don't know when to put a lid on it, literally and figuratively. They do not know when to cap off the night. And I would just keep going and keep going because for me, the more intoxicated I would get, the less worries, insecurities, and fears I would have. And it just, it, it would feel so good to just, the, the ride of getting to that point, I would enjoy it. I'd enjoy slowly just drowning all of my fears and worries away. It blows my mind that for me to admit, what it took for me to admit that I had a problem to fix was something like LSD. But I really don't wanna say, guys, go drop some acid and cure your alcohol addiction. I mean, even if uh, Bill Wilson of Alcoholics Anonymous, one of the founders, even if he did cure his own addiction, supposedly by taking LSD, it's just not that simple. There are a lot of parameters that you have to meet before something like LSD is really going to cure you. I don't want to say that the same can happen to you. I, I don't want this video to sound like a promotion for LSD. But what I do want to say is that what it did for me and, and how it helped me was it just kind of laid out for me my life. It, it let me objectively take a look at my life as if I wasn't me, as if I was one of the people looking in. Sometimes we can see someone else's problems or what they should change in such an obvious way that it's painful. We're like, but man, how can you not see that this is a problem? 
And for the individual, they're like, what do you have a problem? <laughs> Well, you got the problem, huh? The way it allowed me to introspectively look at my life from the angle as if I wasn't me, from just total stranger looking in. That's so powerful because you detach from the feelings of specialness, from feeling like you're a special snowflake, which is probably one of the one of the biggest things that psychedelics have taught me. Probably sounds terrible. They've taught me that I'm not special. Oh. But no, it's a good thing. It means that I stop holding myself, you know, to such high regard compared to others. I have a much better time now uh, seeing anything in my life that needs to change. The thing is, I want to point this out. I'm not perfect. I'm not a saint. I don't always even follow my own advice, even though now more than ever I try to. Sometimes I still contradict myself, but I managed to kick this addiction. And not only that, I, I completely lost interest in alcohol. I don't see it as an escape at all, period. And I think that was one of the definitive uh, realizations that I came to. That was what kept me caught. I kept thinking that, okay, alcohol makes me feel good. Alcohol takes me out of these thoughts. But when I stopped seeing alcohol as, as that, as having that place in my life, I was able to really examine what the alcohol was doing to me and it was doing nothing but harm. There was absolutely not one benefit that was coming out of my drinking. No matter how much I convinced myself that it was beneficial to be in a state of not caring, how good it felt to let go of worries and insecurities, it had zero value. And when there's something or someone in your life that has zero value, it's okay to let it go. Goodbye, Mr. Buddha Beer. You know what, I really appreciated you at one time, but now Buddha Beer, you are just gonna remain a pretty I don't know, maybe flower vase or something. Maybe you could put like a nice flower in that. I mean, I'm making a joke because now I can drink uh, without problems. Um, but I, I also want to be careful saying that because if you are someone who's just freshly, you know, kicked this habit, you don't want to say like, oh, look at that guy. Now he can drink without getting drunk. I can do the same. No, that took a literal complete shift in perspective. Some people can lie to themselves and say, oh yeah, I don't need alcohol. That's bad too. You want to be completely honest. If you feel like you need it, admit you need it. The first step to making any kind of change in this is to admit that there is a problem. So just, yeah, stop denying it. That's how I changed, admit it, and then you can work on healing. You've got to find the reasons why. What are the core reasons for drinking? What is it that you're running away from? I realized, and this is where psychedelics were huge for me, because they made me face my fears. I am a runner. That's what I did. You know, some people fight or flight. I would just, <laughs> I would run from all my problems. And it just led to habits like drinking, because drinking makes it feel good to run. And I made the transition from being someone who runs from problems to someone who faces problems and does their best to work them out. And again, I'm not perfect. I, I still don't have a problemless life, but I am a lot more healthy than I was in the past. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I was kind of at a battle which channel to put it on because it is about a drug, but I chose to put it on swim because it's, yeah, it's a personal story. This is my personal channel. I, this isn't something that would go on Psych Substance. But hey, if you guys enjoy my content, be sure you subscribe to my channel. I'd like to give a big thank you to everyone supporting me on Patreon right now. You guys are the reason I'm able to make these videos. Big shout out to everyone in this box right here. Love all you guys. If you want to get behind my mission, then please check out Patreon. There will be a link popping up somewhere here to it. All of your help is greatly appreciated. Anyway, till next time, take care guys. I will see you all soon. Oh, and I definitely do intend to upload more frequently. Summers are absolutely insane for me. I am just struggling so much right now. But once the summer ends, you can expect uh, a lot more content. See you guys later.